Water started coming in from the patio, it started coming in from the front door. And we looked in a room, it started coming in through all of the rooms, even the restroom in the kitchen, water started coming in from the floor. So we got all our belongings, went to my brother's house because his house is on higher ground. But within 10, 15 minutes at his house, the water was like to our calves. So once it got to our knees, we just decided that it would be best to move because the water was rising too fast and we couldn't get it out the house quick enough. So we uh, put a blow up bed outside, we put uh, my three kids on it and my, girl, my, my brother's girl on it and also the dog, but we were trying to be careful because he was so scared he might put a hole in the bed and then that would really be some problems because the water was so high that you can only see sunroofs of cars. That's how high it was. And even the cars that were parked on the street were halfway underwater. I mean, my car is gone, my brother's car is gone, his girl's car is gone. So after we pushed, after we pushed everybody on the air mattress on 45 for like three exits, we finally hit some, some dry land and walked for a little bit, maybe like two, three more exits until we found a bus that would let us on. And they took us to the bus depot on Polk for about five hours and finally brought us here. So, I mean, hopefully, I mean, we got somewhere dry to go, but there's just no routes to get there. Everywhere is flooded. So we're trying to wait until the road, until the water dies down a little bit, drains a little bit, and we can get to a safer place. But until then, I guess we're stuck here. Which neighborhood? Uh, 45 in Edgebrook, uh, right over. Yeah, I know. We went down there last night. Yes, it was I... horrible. It was horrible. Everything's underwater over here. But hopefully we get some assistance and it's not too bad. I mean, my kids made it out, so I'm happy. My, we made it out, so I'm happy. Every materialistic stuff, I mean, you know, you can get back. So we're just tired, trying to get through the day so we can lay down, get dry, and, you know, and get some good rest and get home with our family, you know. And hopefully everybody else can do the same because I know it's a few fatalities out there. And, you know, you just you don't want to wish that on nobody. Just trying to get these kids out of it, you know. But that's just my main focus right now. Thank you. No problem. Uh, my name is Aaron Putnam. A A R O N P U T N A M. And which neighborhood are you from? Uh, I'm from Southeast Houston. Southeast Houston. Yes, and when were you guys evacuated? Uh, earlier this morning. Okay. Did the floodwaters get really high? Uh, yeah, they, they were coming into our, our door. Uh, how deep do you think they were? What, what was that? How deep do you think they were? Uh, it was four or five, four, four foot easy. Uh, four and a half feet maybe. Okay, did you guys have to wade through anything? Uh, yeah, about, about waist deep. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, just to get to the little evacuate truck. Uh, okay. That, that was it, basically, just, you know, get out of our house and get onto the truck and then get down here to the bus. Okay. Did you have any, like, plans, uh, well, uh, I'm still looking for my wife. My wife was in Laporte. Uh, we got separated, so I'm looking for her around over here. Um, hopefully, if she didn't make it over here, she made it to her dad's over in Laporte. Um, I, don't, I don't know, but that's my frustration right now, is looking for her. Uh, but that's about it, just hanging out, eating food, like, just <laughs> letting the weather pass. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Thank you. Is that it? <laughs> May I get your name? Alicia. Alicia? Uh -huh. And what's your last name? Keaton. Keaton? Uh -huh. How do you spell that? A-L-I-C-I-A-K-E-E-T-O-N. <laughs> And you were evacuated here, to right. downtown Houston. Right. Okay, which uh, neighborhood are you from? From Clayton Homes. And how bad was the flooding down there? It was very bad. Like, my truck is completely covered in water. Um, when we left, the water was rising pretty quickly, and they told us that we needed to hurry up and get out. So, so I hurry. Did you have to wade through any water to get out? Or? Yeah, we had to wade through water to get out. How deep was it? It was, when I left, it was like right above my knee. Oh, wow. Like, so from the back of the apartments all the way to the front was kind of a, yeah. Okay. And then when did, when were they able to go, like, actually pick you guys up? Were they? We waited they... outside for hours before they actually came, and they just had one truck, and people would hop on the back of the truck, and then... 
Okay. Are you guys staying here? We're trying to see um, what they're going to have us do. Like, we don't really have any homes anymore, so it's kind of like we're waiting to see what the next step is. Okay. You have anything that you would want to say at all? You Just, mentioned earlier that you were kind of thankful that you're alive. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'd rather replace the materialistic stuff, you know, I have six kids, so, you know, we have our lives, so I can't complain. All we can do is pray and still give God thanks, you know.